Hi everybody! Today we're gonna make a joystick that you will be able to use in your Scratch games to make them mobile friendly. I know Griffpatch made a tutorial on it, but I wanted to bring my own one to the channel to make it more simple. And if it doesn't work on your game because you need more buttons, just let me know in the comments and we will see the way to fix it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is delete the cat and we're going to add another character with a top-down view, for example this beetle, and now design the three sprites that we need. First of all, I'm going to make the base, which is going to be a black circle, like this one. Make sure you center it, that's important, that's going to be the base. Let's make the second base, which can be another circle, but in this case with a blank fill. Remember to press Shift to make them regular. Center it. Now let's see if we can put it around. Okay. Let's put base 2. In base 2, we're going to put, when green flag clicked, go to base. And if they are both centered in the canvas, when you click on the green flag, it will be perfectly centered. And now we're going to design the joystick. So a third sprite. And that must be like a gray joystick. Okay. Centered. A little bit smaller. Centered. Let's see. Okay. That's good. And let's call it joystick. Let's go to the code and let's start coding the joystick because the whole code is going to be there. Let's go to my blocks and let's make the block move and important run it without screen refresh you have to check that box okay um in event we're gonna put when green flag clicked forever let's go to my blocks move and here we are going to define what the joystick is going to do in every moment of the code at the beginning it's going to go to the base go to base so Sorry. And as you can see, when we click on the green flag, we have to send base and base 2 to the back. So let's go to base and let's put when green flag clicked, go to back layer and let's pass it to base 2. Okay. And now in the joystick, after coming here, if mouse down, we are going to point towards mouse pointer, and that way we will register the correct direction. And it is going to go to mouse pointer. But this has a problem because I can take it wherever I want. And that's not what I do because I don't want it to get out of base 2. So the solution is going to be very simple. After this, if my joystick is not touching base, we are going to give it different orders. It is going to go back to the base. Obviously, as all this is done instantly without screen refresh, you're not going to be seeing the joystick move forth and back. So if it is not touching the base, it's going to go back to the base and it's going to be moving little by little until it is not touching the base. Little by little, but without screen refresh. So that little by little can be one by one. And that's going to be repeat it until it is not 
touching the base. That's gonna be done here, right after going back to the base. And with this, look. As you see, it doesn't get out of the base. And now how do I transfer everything I've done onto the beetle? Very simple, look. I'm gonna go to the beetle and I will say, when I click on the green flag, forever, if mouse down, obviously, it is going to point in the joystick's direction. And to do so, let's go to sensing and let's take this fantastic block. On the right, we will take joystick. And on the left, direction. You have to do it in that order. Let's put it here. And after that, move, for example, three steps. And now, by using the joystick, we can perfectly move it. If you want the speed of the beetle to be proportional to how much you have displaced the joystick, that's very simple. Let's go to the joystick and let's create a variable, which is going to be distance to base. And here at the bottom, we're going to set distance to base to distance to base. And that way, you will be able to see that distance to base changes depending on how much I have moved this. But look, the maximum is 40. If I say in the beetle, move distance to base, when I move it a lot, it will move at 40 steps, which is too much. So, what you can do is divide distance to base by five or even six or seven uh, that's something you need to try and now you will see that the more i move it the more i displace it the faster it moves but never too fast and something that you could do but this is completely voluntary imagine you have a backdrop if you have a backdrop, maybe this covers part of the backdrop and you don't want that to happen. So what you could do is set the ghost effect of these three items to, for example, 50. And you pass it, well, not that, you pass the ghost effect here. And you can pass it to the joystick. And it will look like that. But this is something completely voluntary and you can modify the ghost effect number as you wish. And guys, this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you found it useful and simple because that was the objective. As I said, if you need any help, write it in the comments. Bye bye.